Welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to talk about the present participle. Let's get started. Now most commonly we use the present participle ing as an element in all continuous verb forms. The present continuous, the past continuous, etc. Now the auxiliary verb indicates the tense while the present participle remains unchanged. Have a look at the example over here. I was playing computer games all night. Now this sentence is in the past continuous, was playing. Now when a verb ends in E, we get rid of the E and simply add ing, as in like, liking, right, writing. And when a verb ends in a vowel plus consonant, we double the consonant and then add ing, as in sit, sitting, swim, swimming. And when a verb ends in ie, we change the ie into y and then add ing, as in lie, lying, die, dying. Now the present participle is used not only to form verb tenses, it can also be used a after verbs of movement and position. For example, she went shopping after a verb of movement and position went. They came running towards me. After a verb of movement and position, again, came. B. After verbs of perception in the pattern of verb plus object plus present participle to indicate the action being perceived, as in the examples below. We saw him mowing the lawn. Verb, saw, object, him, present participle, mowing. Liz heard someone singing. Verb, object, present participle. C. After verbs of movement, action, or position to indicate parallel activity. It's in the examples below. He sat looking at the pedestrians, doing two things at once. July walks reading his newspaper. D. As an adjective, have you heard of that amazing movie? Note that amazing in this sentence is used as an adjective, a word describing the noun movie. The family was trapped inside the burning barn. Again, as an adjective describing the noun barn. E. To explain the cause or reason. The present participle is used instead of a phrase starting with as, since, because. Have a look at the examples below. Feeling hungry, I made myself a sandwich. Meaning, I made myself a sandwich because I was hungry. Knowing that his roommate was coming, James cleaned the living room. Meaning that James cleaned the living room as he knew that his roommate was coming. Now let's review and practice a bit. Remember that when a verb ends in E, get rid of the E and then add ing. And when a verb ends with a vowel plus a consonant, Double the consonant and then add ing. And when a verb ends with ie, change ie to y and then add ing. Now provide the present participle form of the words below. Begin. Beginning. Shop. Shopping. Know. Knowing. Run. Running, go, going, feel, feeling, come, coming, sit, sitting. 
Remember that we use the present participle after verbs of perception to indicate the action being perceived. Now read the following sentence and provide the present participle form of the verb in the bracket. I watched her to paint the portrait of my mom. I watched her painting the portrait of my mom. Also remember that we use the present participle after verbs of movement, action, or position to indicate parallel activities. Now read the following sentence and provide the present participle form of the verb in the bracket. Bella works out to listen to music. Bella works out listening to music. Note that we also use the present participle as an adjective. Now read the following sentence and provide the present participle form of the verb in the bracket. Honestly, I think that these classes are super to be bored. Honestly, I think that these classes are super boring. We also use the present participle instead of a phrase starting with as, since, because to explain the cause or reason. Now read the following sentence and provide the present participle form of the verb in the bracket. Minnie ate a chocolate bar to think her mother was in another room. Minnie ate a chocolate bar thinking her mother was in another room. Here is a short story using the present participle. Listen as I read so you can see how they are used in real life conversation. After I'm done, make sure you understand all the grammar and read aloud yourself so that you can work on your own fluency and pronunciation. I can't believe this book can be so boring. I bought it thinking that it was a bestseller. What are you talking about? It's absolutely amazing. Well, believe it or not, but I fell asleep reading the first chapter. Knowing you, it's not a surprise. You told me that you read books right before going to bed. I'm just too busy during the day. Maybe I can listen to the audiobook? I can try it while walking to work. Yeah, that's a good idea. And now it's time for you to practice on your own. Read the following sentences and fill in the gaps with shopping, thinking, watching, or crossing. A. I called the cops. The lady was mugged. B. Samuel likes to bake cooking shows. C. Lily needed to go with her friends. D. Amanda saw me the street. And now, rewrite the following sentences using the phrases in the brackets. Note that the meaning should remain the same. A. Feeling. I went to bed early because I was sleepy. B. Knowing. I knew the importance of the project, so I was working the whole night. C. Thinking. I thought I could fix my phone, but I broke the screen instead. And now, provide answers for the following questions. A. Do you listen to music commuting to work?
B. Have you ever watched someone painting a portrait in the streets? C. What is the most interesting thing about growing up? And now, let's check your answers. I called the cops thinking the lady was mugged. Samuel likes to bake watching cooking shows. Lily needed to go shopping with her friends. Amanda saw me crossing the street. Feeling sleepy, I went to bed early. Knowing the importance of the project, I was working the whole night. Thinking I could fix my phone, I broke the screen instead. Sample answers. Yes, I listen to music commuting to work. No, I have never watched someone painting a portrait in the streets. The most interesting thing about growing up is how your perception of the world changes. Thank you for watching this tutorial.